guys, it's Jody, and welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. If you guys are returning subscribers, thank you so much for watching. Today we are here for a amazing skincare haul. First of all, I just want to give a huge shout out to Stalvana. If you guys don't know what Stalvana is, it is a Korean skincare website. Do all sorts of skincare, not just the same brand. I'm so happy to say that when they reached out to me to do a collaboration, also was able to do my own research prior to picking out the products and they were quite happy to cater to me, my skincare type, my needs, and to cater to my ethical needs around skincare and animal cruelty free products, which I'm so happy happy to show you guys today so they did give me this skincare products I think almost three and a half weeks ago now I was supposed to do this collaboration within the two week mark but I just truly I well and truly wanted to trial and test every single product to make sure that it was good for me and my skin and before I go ahead and recommend it to you guys without further ado let's move along with the haul so I can talk about these fabulous products. First of all, this is got to be my favorite and I also use it every single morning. I'm going to start with this product. This product is called the All Clean Balm by Hymish. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's the Hymish or Hamish brand and it is basically a cleansing balm. If you don't know what a cleansing balm is, it's basically a hardened opalic ingredient all in one little cake. If that makes sense, like I'll show you on the inside. So when you open up here, it's not like a cream or like a liquid consistency that you can squeeze onto your ham. It is exactly as described. Kind of like a soapy sort of like candle waxy sort of texture. When you put your fingers in it, it kind of just melts a little bit. So basically with the cleansing balm, comes with this cute little spoon brush here. I dig out like a little bit and then I put it directly onto my wet skin or dampened skin, whichever you prefer. And the feeling it gives you the minute it touches your skin. Also, it smells really good. Can't even explain it. It's like a moisturizing, melting feeling like it just melts into your skin and then just smooths everywhere. And then it, it spreads to like a really nice consistency where it's not like watery, like it's washing off, but it's just this beautiful like, thick consistency that like you can smooth out and give your, your face the deep cleanse that it needs without being too harsh, if that makes sense. Oh yeah, beautiful. I absolutely love this product. I love that there's a generous amount in here. Like this is 120 mils in a tub and that should last you ages. I also love that it comes with the lid on here. So I can leave this in my shower and water isn't gonna like get in there and ruin the consistency. And it comes with this cute little spoon as well, which I just leave in on top there and I just pop the lid down so I don't ever lose the spoon. I keep this in my shower all the time and it's honestly my favorite product right now. The second product that I've been using a lot from this range is the Thank You Farmer Rice Water Toner. I've never personally tried rice water toner before, but I've heard it's really good for your skin. And I've also heard rice water is really good for your hair. This is from the Thank You Farmer range. This bottle in particular is 200 mils. At first I was using it on the little cotton pads just to test it out and see how it would go. So basically when you shake it up and you get some product out. It comes almost in like a, like a, how do I explain it? Like rice water comes out in like a gluggy consistency. You do need like a cotton pad or even the reusable cotton pads if you guys get your hands on those. Make sure that you have something like large enough because it does like kind of come out a little bit gluggy and runny. But the, oh, like the feeling when you're using it to cleanse your skin is so nice. So much better than a witch hazel and it doesn't sting your skin if that makes sense. So you can see right there what I mean by like a milky sort of gluggy consistency. It literally does come out white. Yes, it does look a little bit suspicious when you put it on your skin at first, but I have seen some serious results on my forehead last couple of weeks with this and I didn't think I would see any results in this time at all but i've just noticed that my skin in particular when not wearing makeup it looks a lot tighter on my forehead i feel like i'm not breaking out of my forehead as much as i was before so yeah i really love this product i was actually really surprised by it i've never tried anything like it before but i'm willing to keep moving forward with it next product along that i have been loving is out of all the moisturizing products here this is the first one that i tried it is the keep cool and soothe lotion and this is 51 percent bamboo lotion which i absolutely love i wasn't sure about this product at first i take it all back I take it, take it all back as fast as I can because this product is so soothing and it's exactly what it says it does. Wait, 
I meant to say that back around the other way. It actually does what it says it does. I love this product. It is the first one I reach for in terms of moisturizing. Good with us when we went camping. I love that it's small and compact as a moisturizer. Like it's not like a big gluggy bottle that you have to lug around. The thing I wish is I wish it had like a lid in case the pump gets knocked or something like that during travels. But other than that, like I absolutely love it. It smells good. It kind of reminds me of like an aloe vera sort of lotion. Though it's bamboo, I'm not really sure what bamboo is supposed to smell like, but I love how soothing this is. It's lightweight, it's spreadable, it keeps me hydrated, but it doesn't stay on my skin sticky, like affect the way my makeup goes on. If, in fact, if anything, it feels more like, I almost preps my skin as a primer before I put my makeup on. And I honestly have not left the house once this week without putting this on my face. And I absolutely love it. The fourth product is also moisturizing product that I haven't stopped using. I do feel like this is a little bit more intense and I have been putting this more on at night than during the day. So this one is the Squeeze Green Gel Cream and it's by the brand E Nature. Ingredients in this one actually really caught my eye. So it's a watery gel cream and it's got hydrator encapsulated facial cream moisturizing and refining with kale, parsley and chlorophyll. I honestly didn't know what to expect when I opened this up. I love the smell of this stuff. Like a like a real fine like kind of gel but it looks more creamy on the inside let me just tap the screen here it's like a really refined gel but it looks like it has all these little beads in it it's not by any means like an exfoliating cream or anything like that but for some reason it has like these little sort of gel beads in them and it feels so nice going on i took this away with us when we went camping and on the second day me and jamie got so sunburned i didn't have any other moisturizing lotion apart from the bamboo cream and this and this is the first thing that i reached for i was like let me put this on your shoulders <laughs> like i was like i've got to put this stuff on my shoulders and on my face and honestly like we both came back and we weren't burnt at all like one bit which is unheard of for me and jamie i'm putting this on at night i put it on my forehead and i dab it on on my cheek bone areas since i've been on my period i've been loving putting this on just to reduce any redness um, or anything that's been irritated on my skin. I've been putting this on at night and I love the smell of it. The next product along is an exfoliator. It does say on the front an apricot blossom peeling gel, which is what kind of confused me at first when first viewing this. I thought it was some sort of like mask, a gel mask or something or like a just a gel cream and i thought wow they've sent me a lot of moisturizers but it's actually an exfoliator so i tried this in the shower about a week and a half ago haven't been using it too much because my skin has broken out on my cheeks a little bit try not to irritate or like rub anything harsh on my skin while it's like inflamed if that makes sense i have used it on my decolletage i use it on my neck in the shower almost every second day or every third day. Love that the beads are dissolvable. They are not harmful to the environment at all. This is actually 100 mils and it's made up of prunus, moonflower water, and plant-derived cellulose, which is 8%. And I love that it just absolutely just melts away in the shower. I hate, it's a really strong word to use, but I hate using products that have really strong exfoliant beads and they don't actually dissolve or melt and they just wash down the drain in the shower. They scratch you. They like irritate pimples on your skin and they're bad for the environment. And I just feel like I'm trying so hard now, like um, especially even with my vegetarian slash vegan journey, like I'm trying so hard to be more environmentally conscious. And I just love the way this brand has gone. I forgot to mention this brand is called Beauty of Joseon. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I hope I am, because I just absolutely love it. It smells so good and I cannot recommend this highly enough. It doesn't irritate my skin. So surprised with all the products that I've received so far. Not last but least, oh, I think I have to go grab it because I took it away with us. It's in my handbag. I'll be right back, guys. Um, There's one last product I wanna show you guys before I and the haul and I've been using it all weekend when we've been away so I'll be right back okay so I just looked everywhere for it I think Jamie must help still have it in his glove box in the car from when we took our trip over the weekend basically we went to Rainbow Beach over the weekend and I took it with us and I wore it every day on my face my shoulders my chest it's a small sunscreen I will pop the picture just up on the screen to the side of me this product is called the my signature Vita red sunscreen and the brand is called Tiam. I've never used a 50 plus sunscreen, a UV 50 plus sunscreen where it's not thick, 
gluggy, sticky, like sticks to your skin and everything that you touch afterwards. I absolutely love this sunscreen. It wasn't greasy. It just felt like a moisturizer, if I'm being honest, but it was thick enough, like this, the consistency was thick enough that you knew, like you could feel it was a sunscreen. It also didn't have that super strong sunscreeny sort of smell. I sometimes like, I have a love-hate relationship with Banana Boat and some other sunscreens that I've tried in the past. They just always smell like there's just a really strong scent to them and it just puts me off like, ugh. I honestly adore this sunscreen. Very compact. It was only 50 mil. It was about this big. Fits into my handbag, my makeup purse. I literally had it just tucked into the side of my bikini bottoms if we needed to top up. I honestly think that sunscreen saved our lives over the weekend because we didn't pack any sunscreen at all. We completely forgot and we honestly just thought it was going to be so windy and miserable when we got there. We were like just prepared to hang out by the campfire all weekend. We spent every single day at the beach when we went. We went swimming. We went four wheel driving. We sunbaked. We had lunch there. It just honestly was the best sunscreen. It just felt really good for my skin and it didn't feel like it was clogging up my pores. Really Deborah that I don't have it with me right now because <laughs> I, would, I just want to show you guys like the cute little bottle it came in. It was honestly just so classy looking and it didn't look like a sunscreen bottle at all when I first unwrapped the packaging. That is everything today from my haul guys from Salvana with this Korean skincare range. I highly recommend you guys go check out their website. Postage was no drama at all. If you guys are interested in checking out any of the products that I've described below, even if you're just curious and you want to check out any Korean skincare ranges on their site, head to the website in the description box down below. I will will be linking all the products that I have described here in today's video down below in my description box. If you guys like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. If you'd like to continue supporting my channel, please hit that notification bell so you guys get notified every time I upload. Thank you so much again for watching today's video, guys. I hope to see you all in my next weekly vlog. I love you all so much. I hope everyone's staying safe right now. See you guys in my next video. Bye!